Have you had a channeled message where you've questioned it? I have. I've questioned many messages that were given to me by my own guides, by other guides, by channels that I respected that is very public out there. But it's not the message. It's not the message that they're giving us. The message is perfect. The message resonates. The message is exactly how it's meant to be. What is needing to change is our perspective. Why can't we integrate the message? What is stopping us from believing that we can be loved, that we can be the perfect person, that we we really need to just accept. You know, what is it that stops us from believing the messages that we get? It's not about the belief of or the doubt that we have within the message. It's a doubt that we have within ourselves. And incorporating an understanding what that message could do to us if we did live by it could change so much. It could change the the way we see things, the way we are with people, the way we are with our family. And the only way really to do that is to find out what that issue is. What is the fear in ourselves? What is the shame? What is the doubt? What is the not enoughness? What is it? that we have in ourselves that we need to tap into that unconsciously is stopping us, that we're stuck in. And if you are a channel, if you are are a spiritual healer, if you are out there trying to empower people, you can do it so easily. It's just knowing how to do it. You can incorporate this to your readings you can do it before your readings I tend to do it after because it's just to understand what is it that they got out of the message so typically what I do in my sessions I would not ask the problem I would introduce my guides I would then show them what's going to happen I don't want to know about the problem or what they think is the problem. I'll just drop in and give the message and however long it takes. And maybe they might interact with the guide and ask some questions. And then I'll come out of it. And then I'll ask some questions. What did you think? What did? And invariably, it's always going to be very loving, thank goodness. But also there might be times when they just say, yep, I get everything that they said. But, however, unless all those words that put doubt in or, or a negative spin on it because they don't know how to, to deal with that message, they don't know how, what, what to do with it. it, it just doesn't resonate with them to incorporate in their life because their, their conscious mind is in the way. It's actually causing this barrier to, to them actually getting that message in their hearts and in their soul. So that's how I incorporate my therapy. And I've had many, many wonderful outcomes from that. And I smile because one in particular comes to mind. She is a channel. She has, you know, got amazing gifts and amazing talents. And when I gave her a channel message, you know, there was things that were a little bit stuck. But when we did go into the session afterwards, when we do, when I did do the therapy, she was just blown away and she didn't realize the issues that she had were stopping it. She didn't even realize that that was even an issue until she brought herself, you know, back. You you can take you unknowingly, take a person back into regression without even knowing that you have. And that's that's the perfect way to organically get it done. So with the therapy side, whilst you're questioning and really being intrigued and being curious, 
you take them on these different tangents, on these different scenarios, and they go into it and they look into that window, they'll look into that window, they'll look over here, and then they'll gaze off and they might stay in that place for a little bit longer and then they'll realise, no, I don't like that one. And then they'll just, you know, go through until they actually find a door and that door is perfect. They go inside, everything's perfect, it's modern, it's exactly their taste, it's exactly the way they would have pictured it. And then they'll look around and they'll say, yes, but. Then they'll go into another room, but I can manage that. And, and they'll look at their own resources. Your mind, our mind, our unconscious mind is so incredibly intelligent that it will figure out what is good for you unconsciously that will become a conscious thought, that will be consciously incorporated because the unconscious mind has then accepted that in a conscious level. When they go into these places and figure out what suits them, they come out of it and think, oh my God, I didn't realise that that room is actually perfect for me. And how I discovered that room was because I had to go all the way back here into a childhood and to find out that that was the room that reminded me of my grandmother and I really love my grandmother but it it can just go on and on that is the place that you want to take them and this particular lady that I that remember she just was incredibly moved emotionally afterwards so you can have this effect you can have this you don't have to be Einstein to know how to incorporate this therapy. You don't even have to be any particular profession. You know, anyone. I, I've even had another therapist that has helped a teacher with helping with kids, you know, getting down onto the level of not, of understanding of how to talk to them you know there's particular ways that you can get a child to to be cooperative even when they've just five minutes ago had a big tantrum and screaming and yelling but you know once you gain their trust and give and they give you permission to talk and integrate with them that's all they wanted that's all what anybody wants is just to be heard and heard in a way and heard in a level that they need to to be at and you just need to join them so my point being is you can be anyone that can learn this therapy and really help other people from children to adults to elderly and can you imagine that if you help someone that was in their 70s or in their 80s that have had and held on to a belief that has crippled them and you've relieved them of that thought, of that experience of the not enough, of the shame that they've been carrying with them. You don't have to be young. You don't have to be at an age where it's too late. It's never too late.